Kirk Duckwell here with Mastermind, the market, your real estate stats update for the Twin Cities area. All right, sellers, you need to keep an eye on this. What am I referring to here? Well, we'll get into that in just one second. The other day I was actually talking with a broker down in Texas. She actually uh, does work uh, with all sorts of different uh, other real estate agents and brokerages across the country. And we were discussing how that we're seeing sales down by almost 20% in a lot of areas, even though like here, inventory might only be down you know, 15% or so. So what's causing this difference in such a low inventory market. Let's dive into that and take a look. All right, so kind of the first sign that we know something is happening is the showings per listing average that we look at here each week. And we, we know going back to February 6th that week, we had a showings per listing average of 10.07 and it dropped off to 8.12 started to make some progress moving back up. And then last week, went for two weeks ago, went from a 9.19 down to a 9.08. The bigger news here, so this is actually off 15% over last year, uh, whereas a 10.57, but the bigger news is total number of showings. And this is the thing that's kind of making me have a little pause in comparison to last year to figure out exactly what's happening. So 6174 in showings dropping off to 4693. Same with week over week, 4798 down to 4693. So I said sellers need to keep an eye on this. What am I referring to? It's the interest rates. So taking a look at that. Here's kind of what rates did, or I should say the bond market did, which then affected rates here uh, week over week. Um, so this is the last uh, seven days. We can see a pretty big jump and then tones back a little bit and then some more upward movement. So that pans out week over week. Yeah, we were, we were starting to come back down and that's where I think we saw that jump in the showings per listing uh, average coming back up. But then we saw some big movement back up. So we are seeing rates and this is with points. So buying the rate down is getting a rate of 4.16. Without points, you could probably expect an interest rate closer to 4.375 to four and a half, all depending on the program you're looking at. You wanna to talk to your loan officer about that, but that's, that's some pretty big movement over where we were a couple months ago. And I think this is the thing that sellers really need to keep an eye on is where are these interest rates going um, as far as timing putting their listing on. Because I've mentioned in past videos, we may see a market that peels off a little earlier. Uh, we're gonna talk more about that in a second. Looking at some of the other stats out there, we did see a jump in new listings, pretty big movement there, went for, from 1131 up to 1417. So that should help buyers a little bit out there. Uh, pending sales though, also on the rise, 971 up to 1128 and inventory of homes. Not a lot of movement. It did move down just a little bit to uh, from 45.52 down to 45.05. Okay, talking about the market and it may be peeling off a little early, I'm gonna jump back to our market meter scale. And we can see, you know, going back to um, 2020, going into 2021, that the market came down relatively quick. I'm just gonna move over here in the fall and then dropped down below six and then started to make its way back up. But we didn't see it get that low last year. So the pressure on the market stayed higher and stayed longer there. So there were more buyers with that less inventory in late November into uh, December, which could lead to that buyer fatigue that I've talked about. Also, more buyers just coming out of the market. And we think that is the case, that they are coming out of the marketplace, um, either due to that fatigue factor or due to the jump in interest rate or combination of both. So one of the first things that we're going to see 
adjust with interest rates, if we think that there's going to be an early turn, goes back to that showings per listing. And, you know, it dropping off again without fully recovering here is that early sign. And we've had a few consistent weeks um, where it hasn't moved a lot uh, that that is going to play into the market meter partially. So this is kind of the first sign if interest rates are going to have an effect on buyers. And we're seeing that the next is going to fall on that market meter. But that's going to just take a little time to fully pan out. So this is not like a doom or gloom uh, scenario here for sellers, but it is definitely keep an eye on this because if this continues to uh, stay here or drop off, that will start to bring that market meter down. So looking at the uh, graph again, where we are at that 10, but it may start to fall back off of that extreme market. Now, basically anywhere from an eight to a 10 is that extreme market, but it's always better, you know, if you're at that 10, if you can take advantage of it uh, versus it moving down. Um, so, you know, really for sellers, I would say it's going to be advantageous. I said it before, if you wait until it's green, you're going to miss out on some green, especially if we're going to see our market peel off a little early to um, get your home on the market, you know, within the next 30 days ish. For buyers, you're going to probably have an easier later spring market than buyers last year. Hopefully you found this information beneficial. As always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out. Happy to help with that. Also, if you like these videos, click on that subscribe button, share them as well. Um, if you want to really geek out, check out our Twin Cities Real Estate Show. This is on the CW23 at 6.30 on Saturday mornings or KSTC at 6 o'clock. I'll put a link below in the video on YouTube as well to that. Take care. Be safe, everyone. Have a great week.